I'm trying to use up as much of the plywood that I have at home. Use that up first before I have to go to the store and get another sheet or two. Uh, I got the front piece done here. I still need to do some trimming along the edges here um, to make it more square. This side I added a little bit more. It's coming along and running real thin on plywood. I kind of want to keep the same stuff on the same sides. Here I have a couple junk sheets on the back working my way up. really want to get the plywood put on this side before I finish off that the nest here so I really can't do much else until I get get it the framing done or, or the get the sheets done around the, the nesting boxes then I can put my hinges on and all that stuff after we paint of course So yeah, we're getting a lot done down here. We got some fresh coat of paint on, one coat, um, some white, some red. Still got the pieces to fill in, top of the door, the back here, and then on the north side. Got to finish that up. Um, yeah, it's a work in progress. I did get a latch on the door I'm probably gonna add another one down here because it's uh, pulling in a little bit I just want it to be secure and I still need to I ripped out the inside where the door is gonna hit right here I ripped that out I didn't like the way that was looking at all it was the boards I was using were warped and pretty bad then I gotta put a board across here uh, to remove and replace when I'm pulling the manure out Finish up the nesting box. Get a little locking mechanism on both of these windows and something to keep them open to. A piston or something inside to keep the doors from closing. And then we have to put the fence around the bottom here and then make the run on this side. And then all the trim work. A lot to do. Yeah, I figured it was a better to do this now than wait till I it really gets bad. But the floor, the farther out, too, was kind of rotten, and it was really swollen. And I decided to cut another section out, so I'm going to replace it with the same um, hardwood here, the laminate top. And I think we're going to try to get those birds in here tonight. We, uh, I'm going to close off this nesting box here and then we've got the chicken door has been cut now. I have that cut out and I'll show you how that works on the inside. For now I don't have locks on the windows. I just have boards screwed in just to keep them from flapping and I still have this side to complete but all this stuff can be done after the birds are in I really want to get them in because they're getting so big now they're really outgrowing their space big time and above the door too I got that done now all pieced together
Okay, I got it all swept down here. Got all the crap off the floor. And I've got these semi-hard plastic sheets and I'm gonna put them down. I uh, thought about linoleum, something like that, but these are a freebie I'm able to get a hold of. Looks like I might need one or two more, or maybe three to complete it, but I'm just putting roofing nails on it and I'm gonna overlap each one so as I when I do have to clean it out it'll just sweep up or uh, you know I can just fork it out right to the door don't worry about snagging the other sheet or whatever so it should work good one lonely chicken and then we got to get the bedding in and then we'll add the rest For a couple days now in the coop they sure like to hang out in that corner still but I was in here a few minutes ago and I think just me being in here maybe they were kind of following me around and really kind of expanding their territory a little bit um, this stupid waterer keeps leaking if it's just a little bit not perfectly flat and level it'll leak and it's leaking right through the floor right now because I don't have enough of my black plastic down um, I'm hoping when I hang it in a little bit here that, that will take care of it uh, right now I'm gonna put up a couple roosting bars one diagonal across the back here one diagonal across the front and I'm hoping um, that I can find some branches here I got quite a few branches I could find at least one I know for sure maybe hopefully the longer one too I can find out of this pile and I've got another couple piles too and to make it more of a natural fit they say it's better if they're rounded and not flat and inch and a half diameter is what I'm looking for for the bulk of it so that's the goal hey I got a couple uh, perches up here now I'm kind of liking it. it was a real bugaboo to get get these things fastened on here make sure the screws and nails and whatever I make sure that I don't want them to get cut or anything on them so um, they should withstand the weight now pretty easily and I'm confident they're gonna hold in uh, chicks are pretty pretty scared now that I'm up here pounding and screwing all the stuff in but um, yeah and then I got the door got the door moving good um, got a little pulley system rigged up here a couple eye bolts and door is moving up and down real good really liking that and I'm gonna mount my water and my feed right inside the door here too I want to make sure to get that done before I uh, figure out where I'm gonna mount that washer but I think I'm just gonna do the washers on the end with a with a nail or a screw into the stud here to hook it and that should be good I set one up on the perch and I think she likes it I put some screens on the windows cut them to size, put some staples on, staple them in. So when we get the right hardware to open up the door or windows to get them to stay open, we'll have that already fixed on the inside. And I put a lock on the inside of the door because I can't get the door to stay shut now. It keeps swinging open and slamming open. So I put a little lock there. So when I'm in here working, it's not going to open up 
and it's not like a self-locking thing on the other side that will lock me in here. All right, lots of progress today. I uh, rigged up a little pulley system here for the feeder. We got one for the water. We got them both hanging now. I uh, just put washers with the hooks onto the studs for now, and then I can adjust it as it get bigger, raise it up higher. Right now, I just basically want it off the ground. Um, and I got the pulley going for the door. That's working good. And now I just have to, I'm going to take a couple of these guys and put them over by the feed and by the water so they get used to their new spot to drink and eat. And hopefully it's going to be a good night for them. I'm just kind of kneeling down over here by the water and the food. And then they're slowly coming over here, checking things out. I had to bring the water down because they didn't really know it was there. Now I probably put it a little too low, but... It'll be fine. When I got all these things done now, I can concentrate on finishing the outside and uh, make the make the run, so we can get these, um, so we can get them outside. Especially when it gets hot, we want to get them get them out of here. It's um, it's almost May now.